Today on Fashion Guide, natural handcrafted leather to make your accessories stylish and eye-catching with August 5th. How can you look gorgeous at your wedding and not spend a fortune on your dress? American designers have the answer. A review of the spring-summer 2016 menswear fashion weeks, from navy blue uniform coats to lacework blouses. And a special fashion personality segment. The most tattooed man of the Kazakh fashion industry tells us a little about his style. Leather is a natural material with a thousand year long history, making it one of the first that people learn to work with. Designer duo Adelia Taguzagova and Karina Navrazidi of the August 5th brand turned out to be the true connoisseurs of this truly authentic product. Friends for 20 years now, the girls are creating unique accessories. The brand has been in operation since 2013 and has gained a loyal clientele over a short period of time. I don't remember how we discovered leather. We bought our first batch having no previous experience of working with it. We just took to cutting and gluing it at home. We started with some jewelry, bracelets, necklaces, earrings, all made of leather, and decided to give it a try. It's not just a decades-long friendship that they share. Adelia and Karina were born on the same day, August 5th, which gave the name to their brand. Having no special fashion design education, they had their first show at their own exhibition, where they got the confidence to do what they love. Starting our business was the hardest thing to do. Two years in, we realized that none of us could have made it on her own. Now August 5th takes part in various fairs. In April, the brand had a show at the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in Alnati, together with Leonid Zherebsov, where the designers presented a collection of handbags and accessories. The brand's signature colors are black, white and red. 80% of the work is done manually with 100% authentic leather. Two types of leather are used in this bag, carrot color matte leather. Actually, it's three types. The second one is soft black matte, and the third one has all these extra fixings. When your bag is getting full, it's made of dense saddle leather. The designers make unique bracelets and rings, which are popular with both men and women, out of scrap leather. This bracelet is called blezik, because it resembles a traditional Kazakh piece of jewelry made of a bracelet with rings. We make what we like to wear ourselves, that is, it's all for us first. When we create, we ask ourselves, will we wear it? Will we like it? August 5th is all about expressing individuality. The brand's handbags and accessories are made in a grungy style of specially treated leather. For the creative duo, the uniqueness of each of their pieces is extremely important. They don't follow trends or aspire to make timeless things. No doubt August 5th is for brave and creative people who are not afraid to stand out of the crowd. <laughs> Meanwhile, some creative designers in the US prefer different materials. At the annual Wedding Dresses contest in New York City, contestants show extravagant dresses made of toilet paper. They look just as good as their counterparts from posh boutiques. The contest was held for the fifth year in a row. Well, they have to use Charmin toilet paper, any kind of tape, any kind of glue, and they can use needle and thread. Um, that's we, it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Including closures. No closures, no Velcro. Has, right. Nothing, no, no attachment of fabric, nothing. The first show of the contest took place in the popular wedding store Kleinfield in Manhattan. The couturiers say that the dresses turned out to be surprisingly durable and would easily survive your wedding. The designers use all the latest wedding fashion trends in their paperworks, lacework, corsets, loose hem stitch of semi-transparent nets, and puffy skirts of plastic flowers. Well, let's see, we have 4,585 petals that were all hand cut and traced, and uh, we use tape, glue, and Charmin. And the pink, the hint of pink in here is all vintage Charmin from the 60s that I found on Etsy. The designers took care of the accessories too, hats, veils, and bouquets. For example, it took three months and 22 rolls of toilet paper to make this ensemble, according to its creator. The contest was won by the designer Donna Pope Winkler. 
It is. It's amazing how strong glue and toilet paper can be. Actually, after I made it, like I was hitting on it like a drum because you can play it. It's like it's very sturdy, and um, it's just all toilet paper, sort of like if you were going to paper mache something. And so there's, I don't even know how many layers. I just did it until I thought it would stay together. <laughs> The winner got $10,000 as prize money and the privilege to see her dress made in more lasting materials. The wedding salon, which sponsors the contest, will make the dress of the same design but using fabric this time. At the height of summer, couturiers show their summer menswear collections for next year at various fashion weeks. Designers show a complete variety of styles from elegant fancifulness to relaxed street style. Let's have a look at the most interesting ones. The new Dolce & Gabbana collection came out as a surprise. This time, the designers were inspired by Asia, prints and embroidery with Chinese motifs, polo shirts and suits ornamented with colorful birds, flowers, and bamboo branches. The models combine Western and Oriental influences. Chinese elements are intertwined with Italian portraits and images from frescoes. Alexander McQueen offers black and white, as well as color images that imitate tattoos, mermaids, underwater monsters, anchors, and compasses. The entire collection is devoted to the sea and to sailors. Sarah Burton, McQueen's art director, wants navy blue coats and shortened pants to become a part of men's everyday wardrobe. In her collection, oriental motifs are obvious. Just have a look at her summer kimono coats. In the Givenchy show, bad guys and girls walk the catwalk. That's the characteristic Ricardo Tichy gave to his new collection. Models hit the catwalk wearing jeans jumpsuits, striped suits and bandanas, dark colors, denim and images of Jesus Christ. That's what Ricardo Tichy offers for next summer. The designer says that he was inspired by the brutal look of American workers. Also, 11 female looks were shown, which were not as tough as the men's, but still weren't in any way tender or romantic. See-through lacework dresses, shiny chains and pantyhose referenced the grunge style. Meanwhile, Gucci's collection was the complete opposite of Givenchy. Art director Alessandro Michele is all for androgyny and femininity. His dresses are embroidered with butterflies, flowers, and birds. The collection features squeezed jackets, bell-bottomed pants, skin-tight shirts, and long suits. Today, for our fashion personality segment, we have a man who will never go unnoticed. Meet Rafael Romin a young, ambitious, and outstanding stylist. Despite his young age, Rafael is one of the most sought-after professionals of the fashion industry. I started working as a stylist at 16. It was my first job. I was a personal stylist, and I quickly got bored. One day, I was invited to the set of the film Band Dances. Yezbalat Bedil Khan invited me to work as a costume designer. Over the seven years of his career, he collected a huge number of projects under his belt. Stylized magazine photo shoots, image making for films, and music videos. Many Kazakh stars, such as Makpal Isabjekova, Ali Akapov, among others, fully trust his sense of style. I've noticed one thing. When I come to an interview, I mean to work on a project, they never ask for my portfolio. They look at me, see what I wear, and immediately get the idea whether they say yes or no to me. Rafael's good looks, tattoos, and certain degree of shock value always turn heads in the crowd. Although the stylist says he has no distinct style of his own, he's mostly into sport chic. I like black and white. I hate polka dots, stripes, and gaudy colors. I don't like prints. I like when you keep it simple and clear. White, black, and gray are the main colors in my wardrobe. Rafael Roman's style explained in five things. Five mains. Sneakers, shorts, cap, black shirt, and a black hoodie. Now Rafael keeps on creating looks, working for a TV series for young audiences. In the near future, he plans to become a designer of his own brand, IWBY. That's all for today. Don't miss an exciting tour around the world of fashion, style, and beauty with Fashion Guide.